Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Hublot Classic Fusion Automatic in Titanium. You can see this rare example of an Hublot watch on a full bracelet and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this titanium Hublot. Now on my wrist, six a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this watch has an impressive duality about it. At 45 millimeters in diameter from 3 to 9, not inclusive of the crown, it's a modern watch, an oversized watch, but it's not an overbearing watch, and perhaps you might even say this is the most sartorially versatile Hublot for a man. Now it's nice and slim, 11 millimeters thick, this is exceptionally svelte for an Hublot product, and you can see that with the slope of the bezel gasket and the lip of the bezel itself, it's easy to get a dress cuff or a tight sleeve to ramp up and over this one. From lug to lug, it's a big watch. Approximately 57 millimeters from extremity to extremity is the operative measurement, and the reason I don't quote lug to lug, and I'll demonstrate right here, is because there is a little bit of a rigid outcropping to the bracelet. It flares out a bit beyond the ends of the lugs, and here you can see the difference between lug to lug and extremity to extremity as it spans the wrist. That's why I say 57 millimeters. However, it is delightfully light, entirely in titanium, bezel case and bracelet. The watch has a surprise and delight quality to it in as much as you're expecting steel and then it's almost like you pick it up and it's a watch full of helium. Quite impressive, but not quite as impressive as the Hublot bracelet. Now, if perhaps 19 out of every 20 Rolex sports watches that arrive in our shop are on some sort of Rolex bracelet, I would say at least 19 out of every 20 Hublot watches come on a rubber strap. This is a decided departure from the norm and it's beautifully done. First of all, the finish is exquisite. As you can see from this angle, Hublot achieves contrast with polished outer links and satin center links. The clasp is a beautiful piece activated by twin trigger release, so not friction fit. It requires positive disengagement to open and when closed, it's beautifully low in profile and immune to desk diving. And again, you can see that contrasting finish continues straight through. Now, the watch face duplicates the contrasting finish of the bracelet. You can see that there are polished flanks with beautiful sensuous compound curves. You can see that the lip of the bezel is polished, but the hoods of the lugs are polished to contrast, rather are satin finished to contrast with the polish of the bezel, the polish of the flanks, and the polish of the signature Hublot H pattern bolts. That continues on the top of the watch where the bezel is all the satin finish aligned with the bracelet and the lugs, and then there are the inset and polished titanium bezel bolts. The dial is designed in almost a minimalist ethic. If more is more is the mantra of almost all Hublot models from the Big Bang to the King Power to the Spirit of Big Bang, then the mantra of this classic fusion is that less is more. You can see all of the indices are polished and faceted, all hand applied. You can see that the hands at center with no need to keep up any pretense of a sports watch are beautifully skeletonized. They're wonderfully svelte, handsome, and lithe. Now you can also see that printing on the matte black dial is minimalist. With matte black, the watch achieves maximum contrast for easy visibility. You can also see that the watch features a minimum of printing and graphics, and this is something that another Geneva watchmaker with a name starting with R and ending with X needs to take note of immediately. Hublot Genève Automatic Swiss made the end. Now counterbalancing the larger index at 9 is a shorter index at 3 with a discrete date window there when you want it, hidden when you don't. You'll note, like most Hublot models, the watch has a sort of layered architectural aesthetic to it, and as much as individual elements like bolts, like different layers of finish, like the bezel, the gasket, and the case are individually expressed, but this one manages to maintain an upscale demeanor. On the case back, you can see that the watch features a Salita SW300, very thin and fine, effectively a uh, ETA 2892 caliber built by Salita. It's bi-directional winding. It has a 42-hour power reserve. You can see there's a skeletonized rotor to reveal more of the movement beneath it. It enjoys 5 ATM water resistance. The 42-hour power reserve is accompanied by a number of 
functions that allow more precise settings, such as hacking seconds when you pull the crown, stop the balance, halt the seconds, synchronize to a reference time, and it features a quick set for the date such that you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. You can see and you can purchase this elegant and versatile titanium Hublot Classic Fusion on full bracelet on our website.